um, welcome back to this uh, um, using computer and file management module so we are going to look now at the start button as we mentioned before and we are going to look at the control panel now if you come up here to the control panel you point to it and just click once so if you click once like that you get this screen here now the screen that you get here uh, has a lot of funny files i do not really like this view therefore i'm going to change it how do i change this i'll come up here the, the, the view by and i click on that and i go to categories now this is actually quite beautiful because it condenses a lot of that information that you are given um, there are a lot of things that you can do here first of all you can uh, uh, run uh, look at the security and your system what is in your system and the securities for example if you are using a laptop like myself you normally want to control how much power you are using for your screens etc if you want to update your your programs and mostly windows you can actually do it here so you can put up a firewall the firewall um, uh, we probably have to learn to understand what that is the firewall allows you to stop things coming into your computer or going out of your computer so if you're using the internet you create a firewall <clears throat> uh, there are quite a lot of other information here and you can also check for example how much storage space do you have of course we have already looked at that when we looked at the uh, this computer we saw that but you can also do it here again you can actually look at it now there are quite a, a number of items that you can work with here however i'm not going to touch most of those the one that i'm going to have a look at is the network and the internet now, most of you when you get your computer that you get money from the government and you have computers you can actually come up here and run this for example you want to connect to internet unum internet and uh, network so we click on the internet here and now i have to wait this computer is waiting slowly um come on. oh boy <laughs> what happened um I wanted to show you oh thank you now this is something else. okay now get this pop-up menu here and there are a lot of things that you can do for example you can actually tell your computer when when it when you start a web browser what page should you start with so you can actually write it there it's your home page most people are working at UNAM if you're at UNAM or you're working at a company somewhere you put your company name there and they are we are working in UNAM, so we have UNAM uh, website that we can actually see there. Security allows you to control what is going in or what you are viewing, viewing on your computer. Um, so you can decide whether this information is too much or if you have uh, uh, small kids at home, you don't want them to see certain sites, you can actually restrict them. You can tell them, you can tell your computer, do not go to those sites of this different. So you can actually tell your computer to do that. All right. Now the privacy, the privacy allows you to set how much information is getting out of your computer. So remember, the security is to protect you from outside. Right? The privacy is to protect you from within. So things that are taken out of your computer. So you can see block third party cookies, etc. etc. Cookies, when you have cookies in your computer, they normally allow people to collect certain information. So you don't want that, maybe you don't want that information, that part of that type of information to get out of your computer. So you can tell your computer exactly what you want. There is uh, the content. Um, this uh, normally has to do with certifications. Okay, so which site do you trust? Do you allow people to look at those sites, etc.? And this connection, which we are going to deal with a little bit while. So let me just finish them off. We're coming back to these connections. <clears throat> then it's programs, what programs you want to run? Um, for example, agent detail. I'm running a word desktop, so it's actually 
you can set them as you wish and then advance i wish you do not mess around with this unless you know exactly what you are doing because this is a lot of information that can mess up your the way you view your content so i think it's better you leave it alone right now let's go back to connections now the connections they set up now when you get your uh, your dongle or whatever that little item you get from i don't know whether it's um, uh, telecom or things telecom you get these dongles and they will set up automatically but if you want to set up them manually you can actually come up here and set them up right the other things these are dialect network and uh, they were old most people don't use them anymore but if you had them you can actually do them here well, well what i'm interested in at the moment is this LAN settings. The LAN settings are actually quite interesting. This is a address, um, IP address for this, I think this social data. And you are telling your computer that it should automatically detect settings. And then also you have to put up the port where you are going to, the, the port through which you are going to view most of your stuff. It's actually 8080. On the advanced here, this other information that you can do please if you cannot get this go to your you can go to your uh, computer um, send the people technician computer technician who can give you this information but or one of the lecturer probably they can also give you this information if you are using a network or a a unum network you need this what you are telling the computer here is that I'm in Unum and therefore I don't want to go outside to come back into Unum again. So if that, that means if I want to look for information within Unum, for example, if I want to see my result, I do not have to go through the gate. I don't want to go outside of Unum and then come back in. I just want to work within Unum. So that's actually what is telling your computer, what you're telling your computer to do here. Once you finish here, you can just continue clicking OK, OK okay <clears throat> and that will allow you to get your connection now there's one little problem with this connection of course if you are in connections and you are using a wireless network please just take off that that uh, use a proxy server for your LAN take it off just uh, uh, untick it so and you click OK, and the computer should allow you to do uh, connect to the to the to the wireless network. At least that's something you need to do. All right. The next item that I wanted to have a look in here is I'm just going to take this. Uh, this was actually something that we used to do a long time ago, but nowadays most of your programs they will automatically find out whether they can connect your computer or not so once you put something for example if you put a new usb on your on your computer it will automatically start talking to the operating system and update itself so it's not something that we do it anymore now there is one here the program here i'm not going to look at programs but i'm going to look at this particular item here. Uh, when you have installed a program in your computer and you want to get rid of that program, please do not go to your hard drive and delete it. It's not a good idea. Come up here and click on uninstall. The computer will give you all the programs that are installed in there. And you can then delete whatever you want to delete. A bit of advice. If you are not sure of what to delete, please do not delete Okay, if you are not sure if you are sure of what you want to delete go ahead delete it uh, just remember some of these programs run your computer and if you delete them by mistake you need to reinstall your uh your 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 your, your, your system program again so be careful if you are going to delete something just be careful delete whatever what you are sure of if you are not please do that now, some of you, you have a computer that you use at home, maybe your parents and your siblings are using the same computer. Um, if you don't want them to look at your stuff, you can come up here and create an account for yourself and put a password in it so that nobody can mess around with your stuff. Right? So you can do that from here. 
And then the other one that we have here is uh, the appearance on your machine. Okay? This is actually quite important. Most people find it very interesting because this is how you want to see the screen of your computer. Now, there are a lot of items that you can use here. I don't know. Uh, this is Windows 8.1, but there are quite a lot of them. You can use flowers. You can lose, uh, use lines and colors. So they, they are quite a lot. You can actually go and look for some more if you want to. So there are quite a lot of them. So if you want to use that, uh, flowers, you click on that, and you can see the screen has now a lot of flowers. So it's something that you can do. Um, 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 I'm just going to quickly cancel all this. So, now, if you want to, if you want to come up here again, you can do a lot of things. This display here is quite important. You should actually have a know what it does, and um, it allows you to change the type of uh, the, the size of your letters. So if you want them big or small or whatever size, you can actually change it up here. Um, there are few stuff that you can also do you can do resolutions and this is actually the brightness the brightness of your computer and the sharpness of your computer this is the brightness of your computer this is colors what do you want to see the way you want to see the colors do you want them sharp or vague some kind of colors so there are a lot of stuff that you can do there now um again um, there are certain things that you can change here. For example, you can actually change the sound that you hear when you click on some when you have an error or something. You can actually change this kind of sound so to something else. Save that and this one here. So there are quite a lot of a lot of stuff that you can do. Of course, this was a screensaver was beautiful nowadays. We used to use that, but uh, you young people, this thing is no more important. So don't worry about it. All right. So now the next item that you are going to have a look at in here uh, is uh, what did I do? Uh, control panel. And the other one you are going to have a look at is this. I'm just going to che check a little one or two things here. First of all, I'm going to go to languages. I wish you don't change that. Please, if you find yourself in this place here, do not change that keyboard. Because if you do, you are going to have your keys upside down. So the keys are different for each country. The, for example, the keyboard that you see on most computers is actually United States, English United States. The English United Kingdom is a different keyboard totally. It's not the same as the one that you see on your keyboard. So please, keep the one that you have. Don't change it. Much better that way. Um, then <clears throat> the other item that you find in there is the this change date and time here. So if you are in a country like Namibia, we normally have our month. We start with our the the date of the month, and then the month, and then the year. Now this is an American system whereby you start with the month, the date, and the year. So if you want to change it, you come up here and just look for date, month, year, which is this one. So that one is actually the Namibian system. So you can see here, it automatically tells you. Of course, there are additional settings here. They are very important, you should know. For example, you what do you use in your country when to separate things for? If you have a million, what do you use to separate? You use commas or you use full stop? So for Namibia, we use um, f uh, commas. And the other item that we have here is currency. Now, of course, this is US dollars, but Namibia, we use Namibian dollars. So I want to keep the Namibian dollar sign there. It's very important you find out why. So I can actually do that. And I just click on OK, and the computer will oh, apply. OK, apply. And the computer will do that for me. Now, it's very important to know that. Just remember there are a lot of additional uh, settings that you can do from here. So always. And the, the other thing that you have to recognize here is what is the first day of the week? Is this Sunday 
is it Monday is it whatever so just be careful when you are doing it these things are very important if you are using programs like Microsoft uh, uh, not only Microsoft but any any project management program you need to know exactly what day they are starting the work and when you are stopping which one is Sunday which one is holiday etc etc now the coin the the, the currency that we changed here is very important. For example, if you're going to use Microsoft Excel and you want to use maybe a dollar to add, the computer will recognize this as a symbol, not a text. So it's a symbol that says it's Namibian currency. So it is actually something that your computer will do. If you don't tell your computer, it will not recognize that. And therefore it will not do the calculations. So now, the other one that you have here is this access here. This allows you to access a lot of things. It's, we have people who have uh, problems, like maybe they have problems seeing or problems um, with their hands and they can actually talk. You can tell the computer, that I don't want to, to use the keyboard, I want to talk to you. The computer will listen and try to figure out what you are saying and then uh, take it as input, okay? so. This is your, your, your settings that you can change up here. There are quite a lot of them. If you are interested, you can go through them. If you get a problem, please just contact your lecturer. Right. Now, that is uh, all about, uh, about, uh, about uh, the control panel. So we are going to stop there on the control panel bit. So I'm going to actually quickly stop there see how much time we have got on this program all right so 17 minutes now i'm going to stop here so i'm going to start again to create and uh, we're going to have a look at this and we're going to learn how to create shortcuts etc 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 and how to pin up our programs on this uh, bar and on the start menu thank you